بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته صبح حلتي رات گئي ادا اتكي حرودو خرادا ديت بانگ تسلا تو رکنا دا تتكي حو آخو وادا ديت فرض تسنت کر مال ادا جن تسننيو نادا ديت on this beautiful morning, I am Muhammad Ilham, on behalf of Sheikh Alam Center for Multidisciplinary Studies, University of Kashmir, is pleased to welcome each and everyone to this inaugural session of today national seminar titled Analytical Study of Kalami Sheikh Alam Rahmatullahi Ala Selected Poems, organized by Sheikh Alam Center for Multidisciplinary Studies, University of Kashmir. It's a great honor for all of us that we have with us Professor Nilofar Khan, Honorable Vice Chancellor, University of Kashmir, as our chief guest by gracing this occasion with her august presence. I welcome Professor Shakil Ahmad Ramshu, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Islamic University of Science and Technology, Avantipura, as today's guest of honor. Also, I am pleased to have with us Dr. Nisar Ahmad Mir, Wardi Registrar, University of Kashmir, as our special guest. I extend my thanks to Professor Shad Ramzan, former head department of Kashmiri University of Kashmir, as today's keynote speaker. Thank you to one and all. Before proceeding further, I would like to invite Ms. Saima Jan for the recitation of Kalami Shekhul Alam. <laughs> Dear students, scholars of the Kashmir University, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I at the very outset, on my behalf, on behalf of Center for Sheikh Alam Studies, extend warm welcome to our distinguished Vice Chancellor, Professor Nilo Khan Sahiba, and other members from the dais, and the distinguished scholars and participants, members from civil society, in the audience for responding to our request to be with us in the first inaugural session of two-day national seminar 
So kind of you, God bless you all. The couplet of Abdul Hazadad perhaps suits to Honorable Vice Chancellor. Kuni parvaz kawas totas bulbulas kuni parvaz kawas totas bulbulas the shahbazas. Magar kutsa tapafut parvazas the parvazas. This suits apparently to Professor Nilo Prakansa. We are honored to welcome you, ma'am, for being with us and for taking as the first Lady Vice Chancellor of the University of Kashmir. Conducting of seminars, symposia, interactions, and identifying, you know, outreach programs is the prominent academic activity of the Center for Sheikh Alam Studies. Although multidimensional aspects of Sheikh Alam by now has been studied in different modes of conference and seminars, but this is perhaps for the first time that an analytical evaluation of the poems of Sheikh Alam has been undertaken so as to make Sheikh Alam his teachings, his philosophy, you know, more comprehensible to the, to the, general, to the general message. The theme of today's two-day national seminar has been identified and conceived fundamentally for two reasons. Number one, to refer to the civilizational and cultural ethos of Kashmir that emerged as a result of the contribution of Sheikh Alam. And number second, to have an analytical evaluation of the poems of Sheikh Alam so as to make Sheikh Alam his religious philosophy, his vision, his worldview, and his value system more compatible to the requirements of 21st century of youth in, in, in the Valley of Kashmir. 14th and 15th centuries, ladies and gentlemen, constitute one of the prominent and formative phases in the, in the history of Kashmir culture and civilization, as it accounted for momentous religious cultural diversities that had happened during the period. Distinguished scholars, poets, literatures, prominent Sufis and Silsilas like Lalit, Sheikh Alam, Sheikh Nuruddin Nurani, Rahmatullahi Allah, Sheikh Bahauddin Naqshband al-Bukhari, Mullah Mohsin Fani, Alama Anwar Shah Kashmiri, and many more have not only been the torch bearers of secular perspective and acculturation, tolerance, and coexistence, communal harmony, but have, in times of cultural polarization and religious animosity, but have cemented the bonds of you know, religious integration to realize the dream of oneness of mankind and universality of human culture. It is in fact this relevance of the Sufis, the saints, and the scholars that Sheikh Alam has rightly said. Washim Matan Yiman Abdala, Khushkilman Bozak Mali, Gosh Ritik Pet Sangasam, Yiman Lalan Molkuzan, Yiman Lalan Molkuzan. And Abul Fukara, Baba Nasibuddin Ghazi, Rahmatullah, given the stature of Hazrat Sheikh Ulal, in his Rishnama, translated by Marhum Margu Banhali Sahib, has rightly referred to Sheikh Ulal in three perspectives. In Suf equates Hazrat Sheikh Ulal in love with Hazrat Uwais Karni, Radiyallahu Ta'ala. In so far as a remembrance of Allah to Hazrat Bayezid Bustani. In so far as, you know, religious understanding to Hazrat Junaid Baghdadi, Rahmatullah. This is in fact a stature. And sometimes we wonder that a historical document that has come from that part of the world, Iran, by whom none less than Mir Muhammad Hamadani, son of the grand scholar of Kashmir, Hazrat Amir Kabir Mir Sayyidullah Hamadani, the historical document, Khati Irshad, that has been, he has been the recipient of that document. I wonder, Sittal, and most of the scholars, that a man who has not a formal schooling, Shaykhul Alam, but still, he could have a document that does not belong to his vision, that does not belong to his language, that does not be apparently. But you can just understand the stature of a scholar who has been the recipient of a document, and finally he has, you know, he has understood everything that has been all along with it. That's why Muhammad Yusuf Tain has rightly said that Kashmiris does not need any, you know, Pradosi, Jami or Rumi, because we are gifted with the scholars like Lalda and Sheikh Ulala. There is, an absolute, there is no doubt about that. And there is yet to be explored about Sheikh Alam and his contributions. We know all scholars. We know isms and ideologies. We know everybody around the globe, even in our own Kashmir. But fortunately, unfortunately, we are unmindful of the contribution of the people who had made you know, a wonderful contribution to our Kashmir culture and civilization. There is an Arabic proverb that has rightly been said. You know, man jahila bi ahli zamani hi fa huwa jahil. It's not Arrogant is not a person who abuses you. Arrogant is a man who is unmindful of the people 
who had made everlasting imprints on our culture and society. That is, we don't know. And this, therefore, Sheikh Al Alam has rightly said, Shambhuish Kadr Pop Kumpur Zane, Mushkya Zane Kumpur Gat. Because you, if you know somebody, you can realize his contribution worth and material as well. Hazrat Sheikh Al Alam, fundamentally a symbol of Sufi, you know, Kashmir culture and civilization, represents the almost collective psyche of the people of Kashmir. There's no doubt about that. And some of the prominent sayings and the poems and the shruk of Hazrat Sheikh Al Alam, almost difficult for anybody to explain and to understand and to comprehend the inner meanings of all shruks and poems that have been, that have been delivered by Hazrat Sheikh Al Alam. So, so most prominently, but I conclude, Besinzi lavin mokar chao, yuskar gongul suikar prao. Still a proverb and still a poem that need further explanations and further, you know, comprehensions. And kunyaro boza kunyaro roza, em kunyaran kuta jud jalao, akal fikir tuwar kut soza, kusmali chathro ki dariyao. Again, I think that it's a thing. Lalish kadar dhangul zani, kushkya zani swich pichwa. These are some, you know, prominent sayings, some poetic compositions of Hazrat Sheikh Al Alam. And I believe there is little time that we'll have to think on all these poems and to work on it, have an analytical evaluation. To conclude, it is believed that the civilization and cultural profile that emerged as a result of the contribution of Sheikh Al Alam played a significant role in shaping the cultural diversity of Kashmir and made everlasting contribution to its originality. It is in fact this relevance of the seminar that multidimensional aspects of Sheikh Al Alam with special reference to the analytical evaluation of the poems of Sheikh Al Alam will be our first consideration so as to make findings derived thereof more compatible, more close to those who are in any way connected with Sheikh Al Alam. I think that the Sheikh Al Alam is a very big part of it. I think that the Sheikh Al Alam is a very big part of it. Mzan Dahilais. Yem Satan European Mokik Kashiri Void. Yem translator is Tam Mai Mizi. Tam Satan Hutnitimo translator of Laladid Sid Shekul Al Musuna. Is best board noxan go Kashris Kamas. Kazi Shekul Alam Alam Chu greater than Lal. Born Kazipa. Do you want to go to your text choice? Kalami Shekhul Alam, it came in Bachi Pur. Maximum Luko. Pur ya Luk ya Tatamuk Tarjam Kor Angrizi poet ya Urdu poet ya Quinti Mafilmas Parnao. Ya Bilkul text out Galat poet par. Tamsit Wak Warak. Aknoksanu says, Gumud be Aknoksan, go Kalami Shekhas, you say, Muk Matan Chu, Yao Tud Galat Parna, Tamsit was Sheikh Kamil Sindh Shairan, yes, Azmatos, that was Dadar. Him said this, is the seminar Kehawala Katkaro, as to Varia seminar and Mukabal, yes, seminar important. As to Sheikh Ulalam Basete Mufakir, Bahasit Mufasiri Quran, Bahasit Wazi Kashmir, as to Sirip Sheikhul Alam Bahasit Shayer. To suit to a specific big Mosul. And Babad Mubarak, the one to Chairman Salas. Specific Mosul Kachuk, Sheikhul Alam, sons of poems. Poems of Sheikhul Alam, Nazm. At Kyachumani, just arm audiences, ye Tarn, Yasan, one Chukyamani. نظم گئی آکھ واقع سو واقع ایک اس لسانی اظہار اسمز باؤن یت آکھ کنت مسلسل موضوع آئیس یہ شو یہ لیکھو یہ نظم لیکھ شیخ العالم تی لیکھے ادفر سب تی مگر سوال چھو کہ نظم لیکھن وول تکلیکار شہر یشا پنی لسانی گرت سید پنی لسانی صورت سید پنی استیار و سید علام چا سید یہ تجربی واقع اچھا یہ شہران عظمت دیت حکم 
یہ سوال بنیاد یہ سوال اس یت محفل مز تی و نقص گو مے ون گوڑے کی مثال ون بہ ز مثال ون بن کن حدس تام گنڈ شیخ العالم سیت فلسف مثلا شیخ العالم ونمت وم پیوم چتس گریکی وز نون یہ ادیب تو بہت اس فلسفی ووٹ ات وم پیوم چتس گریکی وز نون اس بالکل غلط شیخ العالم سن کلام یا پڑھ اس کنت کور اس یس کاری کاری گئی وہ تو کاری گوس بس ریڈر شیخ العال پڑھن وول امس گی تیچی لسانی مہارت یس بذات خود شہرس اگر نہ تیل کر سو سو واتن تمس شہرس ددار تمس شہر سن تھرو واتن تت قوم تت تہند سو لٹریچر خزان تت واتن ددار مثال کشرس تنقیدس مز اردو تنقیدس مز یم سات غالب سند شعر آو ڈسکس کر نقش فریاد دی ہے کس کی شوق یہ تحریر کا اچھا دمس مصرس مز کاغذی ہے پیرا ات کاغذی پیرا ہنس یہ استور استور کو لیجنڈ سر یہ ایران اک لیجنڈری کیریکٹر چن یہ اک واقع اک صورت حال چھ فریاد مگر یم سات اتھ ترجم کور یا ات پہ تنقید کور تم سات تور نمس فکری کہ کاغذی پیرہن کیا گو دوئی مثال ون بسول میر شعر اخن سیاوش یہ بیت بڑ شخص اس کورس کشرو تفسیر یا ترجمہ سیاوش اس ون اس کرہن گلاب رسول میر نہ سبر تو پنس محب سند باپس کرہن گلاب مگر یہ کیریکٹر یہ تھی ایران استور نے بے گنا قتل یوتامت نشر یا یہ سمنارس مز سمنار کے حوالے اس لفظ کس ام کس توریخی پس منظرس ام کس سماجی پس منظرس ام کس لسانی خد و خالن اگر نہ سنو تیل ما کران وقت نہ ضائع بہ ون تیل ما کران نا انصافی تمس کردار سمس کردار سن ذکر کر مثال ون بیا شیخ العالم متعلق اس ووت ست ہت وری ستن ہتن ورین ون اس آم پن سدرس ناو چس لمان میں پرنو شی تر ورین کشر صوفیزم تو پوٹری آم پن سدرس ناو چس لمان اس تام چھوپ سن ٹیکسٹ بکن مز کیا ایک شخص ون یہ ہسا اوم کہ پن یتھی تم اتنی جذبات تو مذہب جوڑ شیخ لل دید ہز سس شیران عظمت و سہ ہسا پی چھل چھل اس تھوڑ ٹیکسٹس مز یہ اوم کہ پن آم پن سودرس نائے چس لمان یا کل میں پرم کل میں سرم ات پتم مصر سو اس تو سائسس یمن تہ پتہ ویسان صاحبان زید بیت یمن تہ اد لل و اسلام اس مجھے غلط ٹریڈیشن ساتھ دیوان اد لل و اسلام خان مین ایک صحیح بڑ علم تم کور اد شیخ و اسلام خان پزر یہ کہ شیخ العالم پانس نند ونم شیخ العالم کن شائی پانس شیخ ونم سو القاب آفٹر ڈیتھ شیخ العالم کورمت استعمال اول ریشی احمد ریشی دوم حضرت اویسا یہ یہ ہے شیخ العالم ونت یہ ہے دنیا کا بھی بوڑ شخص ون تمس یہ بغدل یعنی ریشی فلاسفی ہند بہنی ہسا حضرت محمد مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اتھ فلسف یہ ون بہت ڈسکس کرنے کیا دوم حضرت اویس تو پتہ مگر یم ژورم باغ ژور ریشی یم جوڑ کشر و موقع کو اکس ون تک زلکا ریشی زلکاس ون یہ ہسا ظلف کار حضرت علی کر مطالبہ بچو تم ون تک میران ریشی میران ریشس ون یہ ہسا میر میران حضرت غوث الاظم مگر تمو پورے نہ حسنن تامت ناو ہم نب سانو استاد تمو پورے نہ شیخ العالم شیخ العالم سا نظم چاہ ڈسکس گھس شیخ العالم یمن شنوین ریشن ہند ژون ریشن ہند یہ گوڈ اسلامک کیریکٹر تمن ژونوین ریشن ہند ناو چن ہوتمت پن نظم مز مطلب تمہ ونمت زلکا ریشی کیڑ ونس مز بہت 
اطفر صبح سے پتا یا باقی تو اس پتا علی آسن صاحب سے شیخ العالم سے ورتو مت کجمال کجمال سے وڈون جانور اگر تو ون ہو بہ پت پت گسن پانس تے تھوڑا کمپلیکس کجمال کیا ہو سے ترجمہ کرمت کجمال کیا ہو سے نقا تنقید اس مز بونمت کجمال سے کریکٹر یا جانور فل تراون پت گے چھ لیجنڈ پت گے جانور سے وڈت مگر سوال چھ سپدن پت کہ شیخ العالم یم سات یہ ورتو تم کت فکری پوت منظرس مز ورتو اخ سوال بیس بیاخ سوال یم نظم حوال ون بہ کہ یہ حض یہ اگر شاعرس تگن کا واقع کا خیال کا تجربہ میٹافرس مز ورتا شیخ العالم سن اگر تو اجازت دی بہ ون کہ ہے کیا سا یہ شیخ العالم متعلق کیا کر زیادتی یا سمنارس مز پزن یہ نقط تلن سنجیدگی سان اس کر شیخ العالم سے تمس ون یہ سا وائز یہ کس تام ہوتا فقیر مطاق دستار مطاق یہ کس تام یہ حض یہ میر وائز سو نہ میر وائز سوس علم دار کشمیر امس ون میر محمد ہمدان امس تم وقت ساری کھوت بوڑ علم اوس چے شبی علم داری اخ واق پر بہ تو وچ یہ فارسی علم وستاد یہ انگریزی وستاد یہ اردو وستاد شاید آس نیت میٹافر تصوس متعلق لات الس متعلق نفیت اسباتس متعلق کہنا تو کہنا اس متعلق کن شاعری مز میل تھی پرشن مے پورم اردو مز تو یہ میٹافر بلکہ شر انگریز مز تھی بہ پرشار تو وچ ام کت نفی اس بات کورمت تصور یہ حافظن تہ ہوں کر مولانا رومین تہ ہوں کر ہا اکہ سنگر تار زن وزن بچی دپان تم سات شعر پرن آسک تم سات گھر وستاد کال پرس نت وات ددار شیخ العالم سندس کریکٹرس ہا اکہ سنگر تار زن وزن یہ نفیت اس بات کانسیپٹ یہ لات الوکان یہ زن کلم شہدت تفسیر کت کن اگر تھی سی آس تھی کر پانس سی شام ونکن اگر منسو کر وچھ آہ ترن یہ نفیت اس بات سو شو کور ڈسکس غزالی گھر پر یا تم سے ونمت اگر ہسا چون شیخ العالم وچھ میٹافر کیا کر استعمال ام کور ہا استعمال اگر ہسا چون نفی اس بات بن یم سات چون لا الا لا بن یم سات تے تری فکر سبحان ربی العظیم سبحان ربی العلی خاضہ باطلا یم سات شیخ العالم نے ون تم دپ یم سات یہ واقعہ کل اتم کامس واقعہ کل کیا ہے چون ہا یم سات اس بات بن یہ تیل ہسا گرزن سنگر یم چھ پہاڑ یم چھ یمن بن رباب کانسیپٹ کیا ہے کس شہر ہے یمن ہسا بن رباب اور رباب کیا آس لباب آس تھی کر تو پت لا الا الا اللہ محمد رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم تعبیر تھی کر پت کہ سچویشن کر تو پت تعبیر تم 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 تھی کر تو توحید تعبیر تھی کر تو رسالت تعبیر تب تھی پانس تام مگر تم ون یہ ہاس مز ویپنو تم سوری عالم تو سوری تصوب اگر ہت کتاب تہ لکھو یہ شعر تم بری ہا کہ سنگر تار زن بزن پہ دیم مصر وز دو شاعری گم بد گرزن دن دن کت شعر پر ضروری امپارٹنٹ پر دن کت ون بہشر تبصر تبصر تھی سری واقف دون یہ فم دون کران دن دن اچھا فم دون یہ فم دون امک امک فم پان پانے وتھان ات پہ پان غاب گا پان پان غاب اس اتھی یہ چون اللہ سا گھر گمبت گو آسمان شہری من گمت آسمان اس میں ونان یہ چون یہ لات اللہ لوگ تصور یہ ہسا پھیل کائنات تتھ کن یتھ کن امس دون سند فم امس مز گدا غلب سند بیاخ شعر ونو اتھ پہ عالم عالم جنون عالم جنون وحشت مجنو ہے سر بسر کب تک خیال ترے لالا کل کوئی کوئی یہ کرے اور ڈگنیٹیز اینڈ اسکالرس ان دا آڈینس اینڈ 
students and scholars assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all at the outset i congratulate professor khaki for organizing this uh, workshop two day seminar rather on sheikh alam analytical study of his poems when uh, professor shahad sahab was speaking so we can interpret what analysis and interpretation means for any poem i was just remembering a couplet of sheikh alam how analysis and interpretation of any poem determines the scenario in any society when we talk of seri simto ekshi rajalamto askya jaraya kahan gao it reminds me of a functional theorist of sociology amal durkheim when he says that religion division of labor these all carry the functional value of society they integrate the society to create to keep a collective consciousness to keep harmony in the society they have a functional value same way when we say that when sheikh ul alam says that seri simto ekshi rajalamto askya jaraya kahan gao now it depends on the interpretation and the analysis what the writers and scholars make it out for example for me as a layman agar bhuvan bhuvan seri simto ekshi rajalamto askya jaraya kahan gao bakar ye ek is particular religion sect se dab es sayani samant karun aske raya kahan gao chan pai ki sheikh ul alam im saath ye sheher hun tam saath se multicultural multilingual and multireligious society again was there there were sikhs there were hindus there were muslims there were christians and he said that seri simto ekshi rajalam to aske raya kahan gao go total interpretation or analysis se different gasan hai simple analysis se so it ultimately depends on the scholars and the researchers that how they will analyze and how they will interpret the poem of a great mufakkir great shair great alim great sufi hazrat sheikh ul alam there is a kashmiri shair suchun uchan ki last kalas suchun uchan dil ke salas kun probably again when we interpret it i can interpret it a layman again probably it is the interpretation of in amal amal abiniyat maybe it is it is in that context sheikh ul alam has uh, has written this uh, couplet so ultimately my concern is that as research scholars as writers as uh, as teachers we have a great responsibility because the poet who has written in some uh, some 700 800 years ago now how we will interpret whether whether we will interpret it in a positive or a negative way that is the responsibility that lies with you so at the university of kashmir we as we know that again i congratulate uh, professor khaki on publication of three multilingual he has again maintained he has uh, published it in english kashmiri and urdu uh, so i congratulate him on this also i just want to express my gratitude to the organizers of this workshop for having invited me as a guest of honor and i also join my colleagues in congratulating professor khaki sahab for having got released his three of his books on a topic which are relevant to the theme of the workshop today now if you look at the theme of the you know workshop you know shekul alam the nunduresh alamdari kashmir sheik nurdin nurani you know this is these are the names that we have you know grown up since our childhood knowing different aspects of the life of sheikh alam and these are ingrained into our daily lives but we need to introspect that these legends of kashmir have we really done enough in order to you know promote and create awareness or make these as parts of our life i will come to it uh, you know a little while 
and academia has a very important role. Awareness is one part of it. You know, I, for me, other than being a poet, a saint, a mystic, a scholar, Sheikh Alam was the, you know, a great reformer, a man with a mission. I always wonder, and many of you, we say that Kashmir people were the best, were very good people. If you look, this is, we say that Kashir is, but if you look into the history, when was that? And you will probably, some of you will agree with me, it is that period, you know, when the Shahi Amdan and the Sheikh Nurdin Nurani, you know, that is the period where you will see that the, we were the look, best people with the great human qualities. You know, there are you know, experts on Sheikh Ul Alam. But if you look at the life of Sheikh Ul Alam, you know, from renouncing the worldly life, when he took the life of caves and forests, somewhere in the South Kashmir near Matan, and when he came after that, in touch with the Shekula, you know, with the uh, Amir Kabir, I think that really changed the entire, you know, his mission. From that life of, you know, Sufi or a Rishi, and to a great reformer. Because up to that, if you look at the, you know, Sayyid Ali Ham, uh, Hamadani sir, so that was a language of elites the Persian, the Arabic. This was the language of elites. You know, people had Islam on lips, but not on the hearts. That is what Sheikh Alam says. But he spoke, he translated the message of Islam in common, in a folklore, in a common language. The shruks that, you know, that were, it may be very difficult as of today for us to understand the Sheikh Alam Kalam, but I'm sure that in 14th century, it was much easier for the people of Kashmir to get the message, the Islam up directly. Now, if you look at the, you know, the mission of Shah Hamdan or the mission of Sheikh Ul Alam, look, look at what Sheikh Ul Alam or what, you know, the Shah Hamdan has done. I will start with the Shah Hamdan. I believe that Shah Hamdan, you know, that did not only, you know, teach us about the Islam, did not, you know, but he gave us also the sickles. And I believe that every university in Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh has to be a Sheikh Alam. When we talk about imparting the sickle training, when we talk about giving employable you know, courses to the students, what is it? So we are basically creating a human resource, a good human resource with a, you know, rich sickles. Or the elements that the society has today it, it, when you read the Sheikh Ul Alam Kalam, it, 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 it seems as if in 14th century also you had similar type of issues. I think this degradation between 14th century up to now, I think all, you know, it is a slow degradation. After some time we have reached it to the same stage that we were in 13th century or 14th century. We are same human beings with same, you know, type of issues that we, we, we faced in the 13th century. And the universities have a mission in that. When this, you know, Markazi Noor was established, I'm sure it must have been with a vision. And now it has transformed into a Sheikh Ul Alam Center for Multidisciplinary Studies. And all those who were associated with the, from the inception, you know, negotiating the inceptive hurdles of an institute are sometimes very challenging. All the previous directors must have done their, you know, contribution in taking this center from a you know chair to a you know multidisciplinary center and i have seen you know professor thaki saab you know during the last 2 3 years when particularly when i was dean for research how much he was you know trying to you know basically strengthen the research in the sheikh ul alam you know center i think we need to think out of box for promoting these type of you know, centers and courses in the universities. And you see, for the science departments, 
it is very easy to you know think of getting a research grant of 20 crore 30 crore in this university we have examples where people have got 20 crore project 30 crore project even if you look at the department of science and technology and other science you know departments at the funding departments so 10 crore 5 crore is very easy but for social sciences for courses in you know subjects in arts and literature it is very difficult to you know get funding i think the university authorities administrators are aware of that and it is very important you know that the universities i think in order to promote these type of courses these type of centers in the universities i think universities need to think out of box and need to you know very generously support these type of you know centers because they are linked to our you know legacy they are linked to our you know culture they are linked to our language they are linked to you know many aspects of our day to day life and with the introduction of the nep where these type of you know courses these type of centers are given very very much importance but it will take a while i think till then we need to be you know the, all the universities need to do you know whatever is possible from the internal resources in order to promote these centers now if you look at the nep there are a lot of things that are possible you can have you know people you can engage in different way it is not only that you can reemploy them but you can engage them in research activities i think it will be a great contribution to the shekhul alam and his studies if the shekhul alam center for multidisciplinary studies have some sort of a linkage with the civil society with the experts that have an interest and expertise in the shekhul alam as we know that shekhul alam center was established some time back i'm happy to see that step by step it has moved forward and now working on multidisciplinary research of the life of shekhul alam ramshu sahab also threw some light on the center uh, i definitely uh, would like that this center uh, puts in more efforts pertaining to the research about the life of shekhul alam i am happy that today uh, i have seen number of uh, programs attended number of programs of this center before also and uh, i can also see and realize that today's program is completely different and uh, i think uh, you have moved a step ahead uh, to be connected with the analytical uh, assessment of the poems of uh, shekhul alam which of course has g uh, great relevance in our society uh, and i'm sure that uh, i read you know uh, what poems uh, you know will be assessed i would uh, definitely like to point off aap iske liye jo bhi funds chahiye honge inshallah will give aap choti choti छोटी छोटी बुकलेट्स निकालिएगा छोटी बुकलेट्स इन द सेंस जस्ट स्मॉल स्मॉल बुकलेट्स पर्टेनिंग टू द वर्क ऑफ नंद ऋषि ऑन सोशल इवेंट्स एनवायरमेंट ऑन जेंडर जस्टिस कॉम्यूनल हार्मनी सिविलाइजेशन एंड कल्चर ये छोटे बुकलेट्स मैं इसलिए बोलती हूँ कभी इंसान के पास टाइम नहीं होता है कि आप इतनी बड़ी बुक पढ़िए आई थिंक एंड very important uh, ramshu saab said we have to get connected with the society we have to get connected with the society or mai zarur chahungi that we get connected with our youth kyunki in future we should see that the sayings of shekhul alam reach to our youth and they are connected with it khaki saab to karenge mujhe pata nahi hai aage kon isko karega to inshallah humne वो लाइन बनानी है कि ताकि उनका जो काम है वो आगे सिस्टम में चलते रहे और हमारे यूथ को चाहे वो बच्चियां हो 
या लड़के हो उनको इंटरेस्ट रहे उनकी जो पॉइंट्स है या उनकी सेइंग्स है तो ये मैं ज़रूर चाहूँगी बाकी सेंटर को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए इन जो भी करना होगा हम ज़रूर करेंगे शेख आलम चेयर जो है हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी का एक बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट इदारा है जैसे मैंने कहा कि काफ़ी इसने तरक्की की है लेकिन इन अभी आगे और भी करनी है और इन अल्फाज के साथ मैं मुबारकबाद देना चाहूँगी खाकी साहब को